Nail pitting on one finger is a rare benign self-limited linear denatosis of unknown origin that follows lines of Blaschko. The condition is most common in children 3 to 10 years of age, but can occur from 6 months to 12 years of age. It is more common in males. The etiology of lichen striatus is unknown. It presents as the sudden onset of a continuous, or interrupted linearly distributed array of small 1 to 3 mm pink, 10 or flesh-colored lichenoid papules. The papules may be lichenoid, smooth, scaly or flat-topped. It usually involves the entire length of an extremity, and may extend far enough along a finger or toe to involve the proximal nail fold and nail plate. It usually involves just one finger, usually the thumb, but more than one finger involved has been reported. Unilateral lichen striatus has been reported with bilateral onychodystrophy. Treatment Options Nail pitting can be mild. If the pitting is not causing any discomfort, it will not require any treatment. More severe cases can cause discomfort and distress, however. Nail pitting is quite difficult to treat, although some modern methods have been shown to be effective. Treatments that can be applied to the nail include steroids, salicylic acid, calcipatril, and tazerodine, although these are often not very effective. It is important to remember that nails grow slowly and this type of remedy only treats the new nail growing, not the existing one. A skin specialist may also suggest one of the following, antifungal treatment. This might be needed if there is also a fungal infection. Steroid injected into the nail. This treatment can be painful. Removing the nail. Nails can be removed either by using an ointment that takes 7 days to work, or surgically with a local anesthetic. In severe cases, such as when a person is not able to use their hand or walk properly if pitting is on their toes, more powerful drugs can be used to suppress inflammation. These will only ever be prescribed by a doctor. Before undergoing treatment, people with nail pitting should first consider the self-management steps they can take to care for their nails, such as, keeping toenails and fingernails short. Keeping nails dry. Protecting nails from damage by wearing gloves when doing manual work, for example. Avoiding manicures at the base of the nail as they may cause infection. Avoiding wearing false nails. Avoiding using nail varnish containing acetone, as it can damage the nail. Wearing comfortable shoes that give space for the toes to move. People should also avoid cleaning their nails with a sharp object or brush. It is better to soak the nails in warm water to remove debris, 